Hello everyone, it's Phil the Storyteller. And it's Will the Music Teacher. And we've got another story with music for you today. Once upon a time in ancient Egypt. Where, where, where? Hello everybody. I'm a centaur. Do you know what a centaur is? <laughs> right, I'm a horse. That's all, right? I'm a horse. Right, because you've got the floor four clippy cloppies <laughs> and you've got the nice tail and everything. But I have got a horse's head. <laughs> what I've got instead, I've got a man's body out of the horse's head. The man's body's got arms like and got hair and I've got a little beard. <laughs> So I'm off man and off holes, and I live on Mount Olympus. But one day, I thought, I was looking down, looking down into the valley, and I saw the city, and I thought, oh, I'll go down to the city, because I'm a very curious kind of a centaur. So I went down to the city, and I clip-clopped, and everyone, like, ran and closed their doors. Well, there was a man there, and he, he had some wine. I said, oh, well, 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 you've got a bit of wine, my friend. Can I have some of your wine? And the man said, yeah, yeah, take the wine. And he ran away. So I drank a little bit of wine, and I drank another little bit of wine. You should never give wine to a centaur. And I must tell you, I just got a little bit squirmy. <laughs> I drank some more wine, and and put it on his hands, and no one's listening to me. And you like to sing a song, I will. Well, I will fight again. Don't know where. Don't know where. I love you, mate. You're my best mate. I love you. So I really love you. What are you looking at? You're not going to go wide. Well, that centaur got so drunk that he went up to a garden, smashed the garden fence, he wandered into the garden, breaking all the bushes, and then he fell down unconscious asleep under a tree. What he didn't know was, the garden belonged to the king, and the king's name was Midas. Well, Midas came out himself after he'd heard reports of a centaur in his garden. He came, he was disgusted. Look at him. Absolutely outrageous, outrageous behaviour. Servants, bring him to the stables. Let him sleep it off and then get him out of my palace. Well, the centaur went to the stables and when he woke up, he had a bad head. Oh, well, 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 oh, oh, it's like bells in my head. But I think I've done a bad thing. I've got remorse. That's what I've got, remorse. So I'm going to go to the palace and I'm going to say sorry to the king. So he clipped clocked into the beautiful palace. Columns, curtains, marble floors, gold everywhere, gold cups, gold pictures, gold shields, gold helmets. And there was King Midas sitting on his wooden throne. And the central came up and said, I will remember of your majesty. I'm terribly sorry for what I've done to your garden. So you should be. It's as outrageous behaviour from you. You should know better. I know, I know. But, but because I'm full of remorse, I'll give you anything you want. What would you like? Ooh, I just thought, these centaurs, they're magic. So he thought about what he wa most wanted in the world. <laughs> he said to the centaur, um, Yes, I do want something. You have to give me the power to turn everything I touch into gold. Oh, oh my, my lord, you don't want that one. That's a very bad one. That's not a very good one. It's a very bad one. And it would lead to very bad things. Do as I say. Well, all right. Suit yourself. It is done. And then the centaur turned and clip clocked out. Oh! said King Midas. Well, I don't feel any different. I feel just as powerful, just as important, just as entitled as I always have. In fact, I feel absolutely great. <coughs> he touched his wooden throne and oh, the wooden throne turned to gold. A 
Oh, this is good. This is very, very good. Okay. Oh, oh, look at those statues. Oh, my goodness, the statue's turned to gold. Look at that one. Oh, it's turned to gold. What about those curtains? Oh, they're so golden. They're so heavy, they've fallen down. I'm going to go outside and touch every single statue in my garden. He did. I'm going to go to the stables. Oh, there's my horse, Apollonius. Apollonius, you're the best horse I've ever had. Just a minute, and... Oh, Apollonius, you've turned to gold. Do you know what? You look better as a golden horse than you do as a living horse. Servants, bring the golden horse and put him near the entrance. He went back into his palace. He was so pleased with himself. He said... Servants, uh, bring me food, bring me wine. And they brought him some grapes. Give me a grape. And he took a grape. Ah, lovely. Oh, 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 oh my tooth, my tooth, my tooth. The grape has turned to, to gold. He ate another one. I'm going to be careful this time. That ah, The grape turned to gold. He didn't want to eat the bread. He, he was so thirsty now. He took his wine cup. And he poured the wine in. Oh, and the wine hit his nose because the wine was now a lump of gold. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad because I didn't think of this. Suddenly, the doors at the back opened and in came his wife. Darling, oh, look, uh, don't come near me. Please don't come near me. Oh, but I want to talk. No, I don't want you to come near me. What he didn't see was his little daughter was hiding behind mum and she came running. Daddy, no, don't touch me. And his beautiful young daughter turned to gold, heavy now in his arms. He looked at her. Her eyes were yellow. Her beautiful red lips now were yellow. Her hair, yellow, gold. He wanted her back. He wanted her skin, her nose, her hair, her feet. Everything about her he wanted back, and now it was gold. I've got to do something. I've got to do something out of my way, everybody. He carried his golden daughter out of the palace, and he ran towards Mount Olympus. And as he ran, he sweated, and the sweat touched his clothes, and his clothes turned to gold, and he slipped out of them, and the golden clothes fell on the ground. And he ran, and his sandals turned to gold, and he couldn't run in his sandals. He took them off. And he ran across the grass, but every blade of grass turned to gold and spiked his feet, with his feet bleeding, naked, cold, hungry, carrying his golden daughter up to Mount Olympus. He said, Zeus, please, I've been a fool. Help me, help me. Well, 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 came a voice. And from behind a bush came the centaur. Well, 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 what have we here? A Greek's man. Hello, Greek man. You've, uh, you've had a little bit of an accident, I think. Oh, Centaur, what I asked you was wrong. And now my beautiful daughter is dead. And I don't want to live anymore. Oh. Well, why don't you go and jump in that river then? I will, I will, because I'm going to kill myself. Oh, no, don't do that, don't do that. No, jump into the river to clean yourself. Well, he turned and he said, Oh, my daughter, you will help me drown. I'll hang on tight to you and your weight will bring me to the bottom. And he jumped into the river with a splash and he sunk beneath the surface of the river and, oh gosh, something kicked him in the face. Oh gosh, feet kicked him in the face and he followed the feet up <gasps> and he looked and the feet belonged to his daughter. Father, father, what are we doing here? Oh, love, let's go to the bank. Well, they climbed up the bank, dripping wet, and the central said, Well, you see, King Midas, you have learnt your lesson now. Uh, it's very bad to turn things into gold. Oh, yes, said Midas, yes. And he held his daughter, a tortoise hand, and said, Come on, love, let's go back to the city. And she said, Dad, Put some clothes on. So he covered himself with a, a bush and he took some water in a skin. And when he went back to the palace, he sprinkled water 
on all of the things he turned to gold. The statue was turned back. The throne turned back. The curtain turned back. His beautiful horse, Polonius, turned back. And he and his daughter ate grapes without getting their teeth hurt. And they drank wine and sherbet. And they laughed. And when his daughter went to bed, he said, I've learned my lesson now. I was too greedy. It's bad to turn things into gold. What am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to give tax cuts to all my friends. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. And it's goodbye from me, Phil the Storyteller. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me, Will the Music Teacher. Bye.